take a look in your rear view mirror. It's Car Man. You know we didn't mean the car tonight. She'll get her prescription tomorrow. She has two pills left, and that should get her through till the morning. You know, I thank goodness for that little car. And we just got her paid off. Do me a favor, Lamb Chop, and don't tell your mom that I scuffed the front tire. She'll never trust me with that car again. Well, I guess that bastard will think twice about doing something stupid like that again. <laughs> Great. She didn't put the placard on. Everyone screws up, and it's up to Carman to clean up the mess. Come on, think, Carman. Think, damn it. Oh no, Daddy! Your car! Somebody ran into it! Now, now, calm down, sugar plum, and be sure that there's a reasonable explanation. Hi, this is Rob Pratt, creator of Carman, the Road Rage Anti-Hero, coming to you from Bangalore, India, with some advice about recording dialogue for animation. In my previous tutorials, I discussed story and design color. The next step toward building your animated short is to record and prepare the dialogue track. This will help establish the timing of your short and give you something to storyboard to. I'll explain storyboarding in greater detail in the next tutorial. At this stage, though, you're also preparing it for animation. Take a look in your rear view Once mirror. you've recorded several takes of each line from your script, edit your best reads into separate, individual files and label them for each line. I use Audacity, a freeware that you can find on the internet. Traditional animation works at a frame rate of 24 frames per second, so be sure to set your sound editing timecode to that setting. This is where you'll break down the dialogue, noting which syllables hit on which frames. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look and Take a look and Take a look and you Traditionally, these marks are made on an exposure sheet where every line represents a frame of film. X sheets also have space to provide more information, such as camera moves and other scene planning details, but for the purpose of track reading, any lined paper will do. Start by numbering your lined paper, remembering that each line represents a frame in animation. With your X sheet filled out, you can start animating, making sure that the mouth shapes on your animation drawings line up with the numbering on your X sheet. Mouth charts are used in TV production and can be very helpful to start out. Although, you can't beat the good old-fashioned method of looking in the mirror. Take a look in your rearview mirror. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful, but obviously I've kept it short. If you have any questions, please email me at robpratt.carman at gmail.com. Next time, I'll discuss the storyboarding process, so please subscribe and tune in.